Well, today we have an update to a story we first brought you more than two years ago, but you'll remember it once you see it. It involves a pretty cool dinosaur <laughs> statue. Yeah, hard to forget. We're talking about the unique oddity at a DeBerry salvage yard and the concern from the community after the property was put up for sale. This is why we love our new Six Insider guide, yes. Crystal Moore, because she finds these interesting stories. She's joining us now. So what's going to happen? Well, we're going to get to that in a second about Dino the DeBerry dinosaur, but this was one of the first stories I covered when I began working here in 2020. You know, the property has officially been sold, but good news, that prehistoric landmark, it's not going extinct. You know, it's like a, like an icon, because every time you go past the Clayton and Sons area, he was there. It was like something only for DeBerry. Clayton and Sons Salvage Yard had been in business in DeBerry since 1972. In a 2020 interview, one of the owners told me he decided to bring in a new landmark to help the business stand out, this 20-foot tall steel dinosaur. It's the biggest thing I could find. <laughs> Dino, the dinosaur, turned into an attraction along U.S. 1792. I like that dinosaur, how he dresses up in holidays and stuff. It's fun to look at when you're coming off the, off the bridge. Clayton and Sons going all out, creating themed outfits to celebrate holidays like St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, even bringing out Dino's patriotic side. DeBerry Mayor Karen Chazé. Children to adults always has loved that when you enter DeBerry, there he is to greet you. And when it became obvious that the property was going to be sold where he had lived all these years, everyone was sad. You know, they're going to do some development and we thought we were going to lose the dinosaur. Well, that wasn't the case. The business now closed, donating Dino to the city of DeBerry. <laughs> The 800-pound steel dinosaur making the trek about two miles up the road on the bed of a truck escorted by police. Families came out with their children in line 1792 for the mile or so that he traveled. And that was a bit amazing to me for a Monday morning to have that many people come out to watch him move from his old home to his new home. And when we heard that he was moved, I mean, it's like moving the Statue of Liberty. We had to see where they'd moved it to. Dino, now named Clayton after his former owners, still overlooks U.S. 1792 outside the community park in Splash Pad. He's the symbol of DeBerry for many of our residents. Will Clayton be dressing up for the holidays? And we anticipate keeping that tradition alive. Our Parks and Rec Department will be in charge of it. I like that um, it being here better because then everyone can um, see it. I think it's much better and I like how the rescue the dinosaur to be here. Like everybody can go down there. I love oh, how she said he was rescued. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the DeBerry mayor tells me they plan to refurbish the dinosaur and add a small fence around it. It's all going to be volunteer based, of course. And she says families can still visit and take photos with Clayton. As for the property of former Clayton and Sons, there will be a mixed use development. But the exact details on what will be going there wasn't immediately available. And y'all, people were dressed up. <laughs> as dinosaurs it's lined up down 1792 you know this is such a popular icon for DeBerry it's yes. nuts I mean when I was just talking to people down the road they were showing up they were taking photos because everybody knows about Clayton it's just crazy that it's story like just made saying. me happy happy to watch I mean so much joy oh about the big chicken yeah, where about I worked the directions oh oh yeah when my first job there was a big chicken <laughs> and you would go places and be like turn by the big chicken right. so it's a landmark <laughs> people know yeah. it it is and so I'm guessing you know for for our station we should probably mm -hmm. talk to the bosses and get something cool out that there would be, that would be cool. <laughs> like I got a big pinpoint yeah, yeah. Like, come on <laughs> where, where can you find us that big pinpoint that would be that's thing. a bad idea that may happen now um, ideas. but you know what's interesting Thing too is that they said they're going to dress him up yeah. for different holidays and stuff like that, which is just going to be so much fun to to watch. So when they transported him, it came like with a little suitcase with his old <laughs> oh, get, out get out of here. That's so sweet. <laughs> they went all out for, for Clayton. So if you're in the DeBerry area, you can't miss it. You'll drive by. You'll see it. You know, oh it's right gosh. by the splash pad. So a great place for kids to hang out and take photos. I can't wait to see his new wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Crystal. He's been rescued. Yes. <laughs>